It's time for our daily business chat with Richard Southern. And Richard, this might be a surprise to many. Vehicle insurance rates actually fell in many parts of the province last year. Yeah, I know. We're used to paying some pretty high premiums, drivers are, Erica. So this uh, certainly, as you say, coming as a bit of a surprise. We got the annual report out from rates.ca today. They look at where exactly in uh, the GTA we find the, the most expensive and the cheapest uh, car insurance premiums. Uh, Vaughn used to be number, or um, uh, Brampton used to be number one. No longer. Vaughn now holds the top spot as far as the most expensive uh, car insurance premium. 2100 uh, for the year last year. That, though, was lower than the prior year. Um, number two uh, coming in, Ajax, uh, followed by Richmond Hill. And there's Brampton, which had held the top spot for the past few years. Rates fell in Brampton by a, a pretty considerable 26.8%, due in part, the authors say, to uh, lower pandemic-related claims activity. Mississauga, Pickering, there's Toronto, uh, just over 1900 bucks, the average premium last year. Uh, they say the, the reduction in people from the suburbs driving downtown for work likely contributed to that. On the flip side, cheapest cities for car insurance Cornwall Brockville and Kingston where the average yearly premium is just over 1100 bucks Erica all right and we saw some wild swings on the markets on Monday Richard were we in for more of the same today we sure were it was a roller coaster ride yet again Erica and kind of like yesterday it started out really bad for your portfolio ended up a little bit better uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed uh, down 66 points, but that was well off the worst levels of the day. The Dow at one point was down more than 800 points. The TSX, Canada's main stock index, posted its first gain in six days, up 19 points, as it too recovered from some big morning losses. A lot of investors are, are, are jittery right now, looking at how interest rates might go up. And tomorrow's going to be a big day for that, because the U.S. Central Bank will make a decision on whether or not to hike in interest rates. Meantime, cryptocurrency regained some footing today, especially Dogecoin, which was up sharply. Dogecoin rose, Erica, after Elon Musk tweeted that he would eat a Happy Meal on live TV if McDonald's accepts the meme coin as payment. So we're kind of used to Elon Musk trying to move the cryptocurrency market, and he was doing that again today. Goodness. Okay. And finally, the Ontario government is trying to make it easier for people uh, to work in the skilled trades, Richard. Yeah, we got a big uh, lack of skilled trades uh, workers. Uh, we're going to need a lot of them in the next few years, according to government statistics. And so Ontario's Labour Minister today launched a new crown agency uh, here in the province aimed at helping get more people into the skilled trades. It's going to be called Skilled Trades Ontario. It's going to promote and market the trades and uh, develop the latest training and curriculum standards. I had a chance to talk to the Labour Minister, Monty McDonald. University isn't the only way to be successful in life. There's great opportunities. We all know people in the trades making uh, more than many that are PhDs. These are uh, exciting, lucrative uh, careers. You can start your own business, uh, make six figures with defined pensions and benefits. These are the careers that I want to promote to young people across the province. Ontario currently faces a skilled labor shortage believed to be about 350,000 workers by the year 2025, Erica. All right. Thank you for that report, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thank you.